should i go for bsc nautical science which is a 3 year course or should i opt for dns diploma in nautical science which is a 1 year course but i can go for bsc nautical science since uh, it has campus placements but no i should do dns course which is a 1 year course and it is less expensive as compared to bsc nautical science but then again i have to go for sponsorship so these are some of the frequently asked doubts uh regarding should i go for bsc nautical science or dns course hence i'm making this video in order to clear all the doubts regarding this and there's one huge misconception that if we go for dns course it is a one year course and we will become third officers very soon no this is a very big misconception and i will prove you in the calculations further in the video so do watch the video till the end so hello everyone welcome back to marina vishas channel now let's start with the main topic that is the difference between uh, bsc nautical science and the dns so let's start with the colleges in which you can apply to uh, there are very few colleges in bsc nautical science which you can apply to but the best colleges are the imu and the tulani maritime institute in these institute there are huge chances of getting placed in the college itself and then for the dns there are plenty of colleges in india for dns you can apply to IMU you can apply to ARI you can apply to IMI SIMS Anglo Great Eastern now let's talk about specifically about DNS and BSc nautical science now if you pursue DNS from one of the institutes mentioned earlier in the video uh, you have to do one year uh, course in the institute itself that is you have to spend two semesters in the institute then for the next semesters that is the third semester fourth semester and fifth semester you are going to spend the time on board the ship and you have to complete a distance learning program on board the ship now after you complete these 18 months on board the ship you, then you again come back to the institute you appear for the exams and after clearing these exams you spend four months in the institute uh for the preparatory courses for the second mates exam now after these preparatory courses you will get a second mates license after getting a second mate license you will go on board the ship as a third officer now if you are pursuing your bsc nautical science then you have to spend six semesters in in the institutes then you get the campus placements and after the campus placements you go on board the ship for one year after going on board ship for one year you come you complete your advanced modular courses then you appear for your second mates exam and then you get promoted as third officer see friends sponsorship is very important for dns there is no requirement of sponsorship for bsc nautical science as most of you all have this doubt that whether we should go for sponsorship or not so if you are going for bsc nautical science there is no requirement of sponsorship in bsc nautical science you get the campus placement if you go in good institutes which provide placements now let's talk about the fees the fees for bsc nautical science is uh, from 6 lakh 50000 to 15 lakhs for dns it is around 2 lakh 50000 to 7 lakhs the age criteria for both of them is quite same that is 17 years to 25 years for getting admitted in both of these courses you have to appear for amu ct exam for getting a detailed information on amu ct exam you click on the i section you will get a detailed video on amu ct now let me prove it to you that there is not a huge difference between dns and bsc nautical science in case of dns now you complete your two semesters in the institutes then you are then in most of the companies there's a waiting period of 3 to 4 months so you wait for 3 to 4 months then you go on board the ship and you complete 6 months on board the ship then you again come back and then again there's a waiting period of 3 4 5 months depending upon the vacancies of that company then you again go on board for 6 months then you come back from the ship then you again wait for 3 4 5 months and depending upon the vacancy in the ship then you again go back for 6 months so in this way you have already spent 666 that is 18 months plus 333 that is 9 months so you can take it roughly 1 year so it's 18 months plus 1 year that is 28 months and you have already spent 12 months in the institute so it's around 40 months and then you again come back you appear for your exams you go for your preparatory courses so all these totals up to around 4 years so in case of dns it's around 4 years now coming back to bsc nautical science course if you do your bsc nautical science course you will be completing 3 years of your course in the institute after this you have to wait again for 4 to 5 months at home and then you go on board the ship to complete 6 months again come back do wait for 3 to 4 months and again do a 6 months of sailing so for 12 months of sailing now this it takes on 4 and a half years so now you see there is not a huge difference between dns and bsc nautical science in case of dns you complete your course and appear for your second mates exam in 4 years while in case of bsc nautical science you 
uh, appear for your uh, second mid exam after four and a half years. So there's only a difference of six months. And if you're lucky enough, you will be able to complete within four years. But if you have to wait for long, if your company makes you wait for long, then it will take more time and it, it will be comparable with the BSc nautical science course. Now, if you do your DNS course, you will be practically more strong. This might not be applicable for everyone, but if you have done three ships after one year course in uh, your institute, you get practically more strong. Whereas in case of BSc nautical science, your theory will be very strong. And depending upon an individual, he, if he picks up very fast, then he can learn a lot of things in two ships and he will be theoretically plus practically very strong. So both have their advantages and disadvantages, but I'm not saying this is practically, this is theory. It totally depends upon an individual. You can be theory and practically strong in both of the cases, but generally this has been the trend in the industry. Also by doing the DNS course, there's one upper hand that you will be earning in three of the ships. It's not salary, it's called stipend, but still this stipend is good enough. And in each of the ships, this stipend might increase by 50 to hundred dollars. So you will be earning round about 500 to $600 per ship. Whereas in case of BSc nautical science, you will be spending your time in the institute and you will be earning after three years. So again, it depends upon you, whichever you want to choose. I'm just presenting the facts in front of you so that it might be easy for you to choose between these two, depending upon your priorities. Now regarding the medicals, if you want any information on the eyesight, on Ishihara test, color blindness, knock knees, flat foot, then you can go to the eye section and I have prepared a detailed video on the medicals. Also, IMU has started a new provision that if you have completed your DNS and if you're not getting a ship on board, then you might change to BSc nautical science. Yes, there's a lateral entry from DNS. If you're not getting a ship, you have completed one year of your DNS, then you can laterally enter in the BSc nautical science course in the second year. So friends, this was all about uh, information on BSc nautical science versus the DNS course. I hope I have cleared most of your doubts regarding this topic. And if you still have some doubts, you can please comment on my comment section and ask me and please don't forget to like the video comment on the video share the video among your friends and do subscribe to the channel now if you want to have any conversation with me you can please add me on instagram this is my instagram id so friends all the best see you all on ship